Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Lords of the Fallen. We're here in Skyrest, and I'm going to be honest, it's been several days since I've last played. A lot of stuff has transpired that has kept me busy. Uh, I leveled up, in fact, and I definitely took a little bit of time off for that. But we are here, back in Mornstead, ready to move on. Everything is exactly as it was when I left. So still using the Fungus Encrusted Pickaxe with a Pale Eye Shield, the Nohuta Effigy, although I'm being told that Lost Bereskew's Catalyst is by far the strongest umbral catalyst in the game despite it starting with an incredibly low spell power uh, so one thing i'd like to do today hopefully is upgrade that a little bit just to see how quickly it can outclass the nahuta which is doing a massive what 350 360 spell power uh, so that'll be really interesting to see I only have the three Umbral Spells, Umbral Weapon, Umbral Orb, and Flesh Tide. And, well, you can see it all in case you want to take a look any closer. So I haven't done anything different, but we are going to be chasing down Stomond in this episode, or at least starting to. If you remember, when we came back to Skyrest, we found a note from Stomond. Now, we still have Andreas to go find, but he is somewhere in the Frigid Fief of Kringer, Kring, Kinringer easy for me to say but Stomond he has mentioned the bell door in Pilgrim's Perch we know where that is hopefully we are now of the level where we can take on that area much easier right so that is all the introduction I have let's go ahead and warp and we're going to be going to the bell room the vestige of blind Agatha All right, there is our good friend, Mr. Bellhead, and this is the bell door that I believe he is referring to. Now, I know we have some rather difficult enemies ahead of us. Now, I think I am playing offline, I'm just realizing, so we're not going to see any Revenger enemies. Uh, there are some rather tough crossbowmen, and they are all being directed... Where is the parasite? I know there's one of those big enemies just on the other side of this. I uh, tell you what, if I just, can I get lucky and maybe hit a parasite? No. And they're, they're currently immune. So where? Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't open? Wait a minute. I've been here before, though. Huh. That's fascinating. I've been here before, and I know I've killed... A couple of these enemies, at least. Maybe not all of them. Okay, maybe this is what I did. Maybe I kited them away. All right, let's try to do some parries here. We might go have to go deal with the crossbow first. Good parries. Uh, I The problem is, I don't want him to... I don't want him to kite back. Oh, we are in trouble because of this crossbowman. Yeah, we should really switch gears. And just go for the kill. Go for the kill. And back up, back up, back up. Heal up. We're okay. Make sure you don't get the benefits of the parasite. Okay, he's nicely poisoned. Okay, this is a problem because now he is back in range of the parasite. Come back here. There we go. Oh, and you're... <laughs> Dying to the poison. That is rather fascinating. Can I grab the... Oh, that's why. Also, definite mimic right there. Uh, let's grab that parasite from here if I can. Yep, got it. I don't know if we want to worry about going in there right now or not. Uh, I did use three... My Sanguinarix charges already. Okay, tell you what. Let's go ahead and switch. Make sure I'm using my right spells. You wanna... You wanna join me? Okay, tell you what. Let's soul suck. Perfect. There's the Umbral Finisher. Ooh, almost got hit. So let's see what we can do here. Let's 
No. The answer is take lots of damage, apparently. Okay, ready? Just go. Okay, knocked him off, knocked him off. You don't need to use any more. We got Ixon. That's actually a new one. New rune here. What do we got? Ixon. So I think the shield ones, or, or this shape, are these the ones that go in any shape? Someone said that there's one shape that actually fits in any slot. Uh, I'm not really sure which one that is. But Ixon, increase physical damage or increase physical defense. Okay, just a straight up boost to your damage. I like that. I don't know about the sludge down there. We do have a couple of the uh, the spiky heads. Oh, a couple. Yeah, we go we go topside. We go topside. I'm not too terribly oh gosh, afraid of them. Cast it before he can cast or not cast, but shoot. Good kill. That didn't break, shockingly enough. Oh, there are parasites uh, down there. I thought you... F was there a way... Okay, good poison. All right, heal up yet again. How did you just get back up so quickly? Grab the parasite. Now, he was also pointing... The parasite was pointing... There are so... So many down there. I mean, I could cheese, and I'm almost certainly going to at this point. Kind of have to. That is... That is scary. Uh, what if I use Flesh Tide? Curious. It works, but it's just not very good. Okay, good. Use Umbral Weapon, which is not what I meant. I really need to get down there. Oh, that was a lot of damage, but now I got to go, 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 go. Oh my goodness. All right. Now we're an umbral and what might possibly be the worst place to be an umbral. Oh my gosh. One shot with the headbutt. This area is still challenging. Perhaps I should rush in and go into Umbral temporarily, immediately off to the left. I think that's what I'm going to do. Equip the lamp. I am happy for that. Okay, ready? We're just going to... And then go across. We got a definite mimic there. We just have to be careful of viewing into uh, Umbral. Lucky Paw Vestage Charm. Oh, we got both. Um, quick, quick, quick. Okay, good. We got that. Without being pulled into Umbral, that means those enemies over there are going to be susceptible. Oh, okay. Here's how we get the high ground. Oh, oh, come on. Good. Good poison. Oh, that... <laughs> there are two of them. That's why I thought the one climbed up so quickly. He didn't. There's just more than one. Oh, great. One of them actually has... My Vigor. Ooh, Marksman Helm. That's kind of a cool looking helm. Uh, yeah. It doesn't, well, it puts me in heavy too. It doesn't really work with this armor. That is a pretty cool helm though. All right, back to the, uh, back to the nails. Hmm. Okay, 
I deserve that. What? What am I seeing right here? Oh, there's an effigy. Good. Whoa! Ho oh, ho! Oh. oh, that was close. Oh, this is just truly unfortunate. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do Umbral Weapon. We're gonna plunge right away. I'm gonna Brio Stone pair this. Oh, criminy! I forgot all about the parasite. We run, we run, we run. New plan. All the running. That was interesting. He didn't have the protection of the parasite when I first dropped. And this one right now is by himself. Not for long. Cannot see. Okay, big heal. And again. Get him. Okay, got one. Stamina. Whoa! <laughs> Poisoned? Big poison, yep, good. Back up. Okay, that's two, that's two. Uh, where is my vigor? There we go, beautiful. Devotion's might. Cool hammer. All right, we'll take a look at that here in a second. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and let's buff again. Uh, if you're just going to run in circles. And I will use that opportunity. Okay, and you might die from the poison now. Yeah, we'll just help you along. Hey, there we go. What do we get? Agony's Light. Hmm, alright. So, a couple new items to look at. One hammer. And it is, alright, physical and holy. 28 strength and radiance. Yikes! Hammer inscribed with scripture. That's not gonna help. <laughs> what else did I just get? Was it a throwable? It had the look of throwable. But, no? Oh! What in the... Okay, a tool of self-punishment, which also serves as a radiant catalyst. My health is still going up. Is that from a Brio Stone? Look at it going... Look at the percent... Or not the percentages, but the actual decimal points. Significant figures galore. My gosh. 0.247. There we go. Now I'm back up to full. But it has a requirement of 15, but my radiance is 26, and I still can't actually read this. I'm curious what it does, though. How does it how does it work? It's like I can't I can't do anything with it because I don't have any spells. So huh. I don't know. That is fascinating. Uh, take a quick look around down here in Umbral Land. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I think there's nothing. If I get pulled into Umbral, it's not the end of the world because... there. Yeah, there's the effigy really close. Okay. That's fine. Just double check. Yeah. All right. Set up, hop, and leave. Hopefully leave. Is there an item there? No. Just very, very wispy. I mean, this looks like this should get knocked. I guess not. It's just a one small panel.
watch the watch the bell staff wielder right across the way who's apparently not there right now okay that's uh what are they holy bulwark is that what they are there is parasite right behind him though which i can just deal with I didn't actually mean to soul flay you. That's kind of funny. Uh, what if I do flesh tide right here? Will it actually go down and hit them? Yes, actually. And even kill the other one. All right. Well, let's let's buff. And we're gonna walk. Wow! Massive damage. Whoa! You went down very quickly, so Umbral Weapon with a Plunge Attack, kind of insane. Pointed Stick, thank goodness. Brawn Ring. Brawn sounds like strength to me. Increases strength attribute, good. So that should be, I think, plus three or plus five? Crimson Rector. All right, so that's what they are. All right. We continue to look for Stomond. Uh, I do have three seeds. It almost doesn't feel worth it yet. Hmm. Can I just knock one of you down with a kick? Yes, I can. But it really wants me to check out Umbral right here. Ah, because there is a path leading that way. You know what? Tell you what, I think... I think I want to put a seed down. I changed my mind. Just to be on the safe side. Just to give me a little respawn, especially if I'm going to be going into Umbral. Okay, but what's up here? So this is just on the other side where the bell staff user was. Is there blood seemingly? Oh, we're going outside? Back into Pilgrim's Perch? Yeah, I figured there was going to be an ambush because this game absolutely loves its ambushes. Okay, very weak enemies. Oh, I see where we're at. We've looked at this place from afar several times. Oh, good at Bellstaff. Trying to farm those for ages. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there is a... Ready? Ready? Not what I wanted. Completely wrong move. Heal. Oh, shoot, we're dead. We're not dead. Heal. Okay, there we go. Now, spell. There we go. Hammer of Holy Agony? Come on, let me use that. Who doesn't want to use the Hammer of Holy Agony? Oh, I can. I can. Physical and holy damage, strength and uh, radiance of 13. Also has bleed. Fascinating. I just love... One of the things I really do absolutely love about this game is just how ridiculous some of the weapons are. You've got physical damage. You've got holy damage. You've got bleed buildup. You've, you've just got everything you could possibly ask for and then some. And I just think that's so fun. Okay, careful now. Not really an ambush. I pushed him all the way through. Another place for a vestige seed. Oh, large duralium, good.
How about some flesh tag? Because that looks like a pros. Oh, no, it's a holy bulwark, not a proselyte. Okay, doggo done. Give me something. Uh-oh. Heal. Oh, the range. Oh. Poison. Okay, a little Brio Stone. There we go. Nice. Reva Strike. Where are we going? I mean, really and truly. Oh, dear me. What is this? <sighs> oh, this looks... This looks bad. That's a trap. If I, yeah, they're trying to bait you into a backstab. But I guarantee you go for that, you're getting whacked with a barrel. Do I? Oh, I don't want to put down another seedling. Because I don't even want to be here yet. Okay, let's, let's test my theory. It might not happen until... Uh-oh. Back up, back up. Yep, there it is. Uh-oh. Get up. Poison? Good, 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 good. Okay, Brio Stone. Now, who kicked that? Who? You're already a pain, and now you gotta add barrel to your repertoire? Oh, why? Why? It turned the corner. Sentient barrels. Oh! Uh, Alright, you come down here. Uh, you know what I need? I need some mana. Okay, armable weapon. Let's get some extra wither. Oh, shoot. Crossbow guy followed. Good kill, good kill. Really can't see anything here. Back up. Oh, oh. Back up. Oh. Oh, we got lucky. Oh, we got lucky with the Grievous. Okay. <laughs> Brio Stone. I don't know why I want to save my Sanguinarics, but I do. I really do. Uh, you know what? Use another Brio. Why not? I don't know why climbing feels good. Oh, game's gonna have, make me drop another seed. I just know it. Okay, another pup. I don't think they're typically alone, though. Little sarcophagus going on. Yeah. You... You come this way. Come on. Poisoned. Oh, the poison, when that ticks down the wither damage, it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Kind of an amazing combo. Uh, loot back. Very bright over here, I've noticed. Okay, another... Oh, shoot, multiple dogs, multiple dogs. Backpedal, backpedal. Good, one down.
Okay, we're good. I think it was just the two dogs. You, wow, you just stood your ground, huh? Oh, we got lucky. <laughs> Beautiful set of parries there, if I do say so myself, and I do. Oh, he regained all of his posture when he did that. I didn't notice that. All right, you're dead. So when he did that whole shield thing skill, it just regained all of it. Okay, Effigy to come out, uh, regained all of his posture. Bloody glory. Another really, really cool sounding weapon. Physical, holy, tons of blood buildup. Holy cow, did you see that? 300 blood buildup. As opposed to the other weapon we just got, which had 80. Just required 30 strength and 32 radiance. Yikes. But very, very cool weapon. I imagine some of you are really going to like that one. Where in the flip am I? Effigy. I knew there'd be an effigy nearby. That is a welcome, welcome to Dark Crusader's Convalescence. Okay, let's rest up. Uh, this is the Vestige of Dieter. Oh, we have some vigor. And we have... Uh, Telka here, or Thelka here? I may have been branded a failure, but see how Judge Cleric has guided me to this sacred path after all. So many brave, fallen, hallowed sentinels. So much sacrifice, yet yeah, we can take comfort in the knowledge they were rewarded for their faith. Life itself is a long and winding path, and sometimes you carry much, sometimes nothing at all. But the most important things are those you carry inside, and they are always with you. All right, anything... Ooh. Wait. I can't say ooh. I can't say ooh every time there's exclamation points. They're always there for some reason. Uh, let's see if there's anything that would pair nicely, because I would like to get back into dual wielding. I could do a ruin or axe. It's a grand axe, though. I didn't realize that. Righteous pulverizer. Great. I love that. I just want to stack as much as I can. I already have a pointed stick. Ooh, you sell five large duraliums. Hmm... Okay. Okay. So I... Hmm. I'm gonna need some vigor. Hello again, friend. I... What do I have for consume? I don't have any. <gasps> oh, no. I don't have any skulls. I've used them all. All right, well, let's, let's buy what I can. May your path be blessed. So I can buy, I can buy four, four to five is not bad. But I wanna know where I'm at. I don't think I wanna do this area yet. I wanna go back inside. So I guess maybe we'll warp back to our seedling. Okay, let's do that. Let's warp back. One, one bit of feedback that I know I've seen other people have and I wish as well. I want to be able to see my current vestige, not just the name, but actually read the lore and find out where it is. Uh, because as it stands right now, you can go to your shortcuts are Skyrest, Seedling, and then the latest one you use. But it doesn't actually help if you uh, are trying to figure out where you're currently at. For example, I just got to a new area. I don't know what it is. So I would like to know that, but without actually warping somewhere else. But I'll go to the Seedling and then we can figure it out. Okay, so now if we go to war and we find out Memorial, Path of Devotion Memorial. 
A self-centered but successful inventor and scientist, Dieter left his expansive estate in a wealthy district of Siboney and set off for Mornstead soon after hearing of the immortality-granting device said to be found there, eager to obtain it and pick apart its secrets. After taking up the umbral lamp, the hidden knowledge which Dieter tenaciously pursued made him a skilled lamp bearer until the day he claimed to have had a revelation while walking the path of devotion and rushed into the umbral realm only to never be seen again. All right, so that was this path. And I don't think there was, was there a branching path this way? Oh gosh, now I have to remember. Cause so I wanna, I wanna be thorough. Oh, there was a branching path. So let's, yeah, let's go back outside. That didn't work. I thought maybe that would work if I could just Hit him right through the wall. Okay, don't forget we got this fella right here. So just block, take a couple of hits, then wait for him to reload, and then just unleash. One, two, three. Perfection itself. Actually, no, there was a little bit more. Possibly not much. Oh, you... That was honestly... He just took half my health. Oh, look how close we are to another beacon. There's got to be something over here, right? Why did that... Why did something just explode? Oh, there's an item in Umbral. Okay. Oh, but there's bat creatures. Oh, bat creatures. Let's be, let's be smart about this and go into Umbral here. Oh, they go down so easily. It's a beautiful thing. Through the wall. <laughs> it worked. It worked. And Umbral Eye of Iorello, the Cursed Knight. Do you like getting those new Umbral Eyes? Main socket effects, increased soul flay stun duration. Oh, I love that actually. 25% dread resistance. Oh, there's two with the exact same secondary socket effect. Womp womp. Not the end of the world, but. Is that, was that everything though? I'm sorry that my memory is that of a, you know, can of baked beans, but I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything else before I go back and explore the cave some more. Okay, you're dead. Big overhead, no? There we go, Be oh, that was just excellent combat. Hey, a nice charge art too, dead. Excellent. And actually, that is almost enough to buy that last Duralium. Oh, of course there's more. There was this whole huge section over here. Do we want to do this? There was an effigy to leave somewhere nearby, wasn't there? Maybe I'm wrong. Let's check this out. Okay, can I grab the parasite from here? Yes, that worked. Tell you what, let's get a little bit of wither damage going. Sacred Resonance of Tenacity. Oh, was just one of you though? Okay, normal enemy boss situation. Ready, ready, ready. Sacred Tide, or Flesh Tide. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. We got lucky. Got it. Okay. Let's rush around and take care of some of these little enemies. Oh, 
Can I shove? Okay, I think we're okay now. We might not be okay, because I don't know what he's doing. Oh, nice buff. Okay. Oh! Okay, uh, the problem is... Well, many problems. That's one, and I'm in Umbral, so now I don't even get a second chance. Huh. Right. Not going to be a very difficult boss. Those buffs hurt, though, because I was getting the, the parries just fine. But because it has that lingering kind of Pieta thorn effects, ended up in trouble. All right. I think if I just rush there, I could probably... Oh, wait. Can't really truly rush. This is going to be a problem. Please don't hit me. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> well, I'm in number again. <laughs> uh, I could put a seed down. It doesn't. No, it doesn't seem worth it. I don't think that boss is going to give me a lot of trouble if I play less ter terribly. <laughs> Okay, Brio Stone just to knock down some of that wither. Uh, don't be silly. Don't leave this guy behind. Oh, shoot! Where's the dog? Don't look, just kill. Is the dog dead? Dog's dead. <laughs> Knock him down. Perfect. Get the Grievous. Not the best killed, not the worst. Now, if we just rush in there, there should be... A th yeah, there's going to be a Moth Gate. A Moth Gate. What a weird thing to say. You know, color me curious. I'm going to do a Flesh Tide. See if that'll go up. Yeah, actually. Well, got some of them. Got something. I don't even know what it got. All right, more mana. Why not? Got my Vigor back just to be on the safe side. I'm going to try to actually kill the Parasite just with Flesh Tide. Maybe don't do that. Good. Got this done. One. Alright, now we can actually fight. No, don't do that. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's do a little soul flay. Look at... Holy cow! Wow, he does not like Wither. Sacred Resonance Hammer, Vestige Seed, Sinner Judged. Love it. Okay, we'll take a look at that here in a moment. I do love just getting the Wither all built up and then just kicking them. And what else did we get? Penitent, penitent trousers. We got pants for that. <laughs> okay. Oh, when do we get a fungal bowman dagger? It has poison. Doesn't actually have wither, but that could be fun. And it is a grand hammer, twenty-five strength and eighteen agility. Okay. Kind of womp womp on that, but that's just because it's me and my build. Probably not a bad weapon. Ooh, lots of vigor for that kill, though. Surprisingly. 
Whoa. Are we still in Pilgrim's Perch? Oh, I see a beacon. Getting real close. All right. Who wants to bet on ambush? Oh, wow, you would have lost. More large Duralium. I love that. Enhanced Bloody Hatchet. Nice, nice throw. I love the throwables. Uh, now wait a second. We've been down there. I know we've, we've explored all that. Is this actually new? I don't know if this is considered new. I don't think this is a new air. This isn't new. No, we've been here. Right? We, we ab- Oh, I know that ladder. This, okay, this is actually new. So let's, let's explore this little side area. Hopefully for not long. Oh, there's a chest I just ran right past too. Okay, watch out for a uh, old spiky dome. All right, what kind of armor do we get? Oh, just kidding. Small, regular, and large Duralium. Hmm. I was, I was fairly certain that the only thing you ever got out of chests were indeed armor. Kind of glad to see that's not the case. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we need to hurry. I didn't realize the time. We're in trouble. Um, soul flay off, soul flay off. Goodbye, you. Hopefully, was that enough? I think that was enough. Ha! <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're dead. Oh, don't fall. Heal. Oh, I can't because I've been, <laughs> I've been cursed. <gasps> but I can with the Brio Stone. Nah, it doesn't matter. Oh, there's an item still up there. Shoot. Huh. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Keep telling yourself. <laughs> how how did all that just go so poorly? Okay, free umbral or a grievous rather. Let's let's play this one a little bit smarter here. Uh, oh, one, two, three. You are the worst. Stand up. Are you are you really not going to let me hit him? But he's going to be able to hit me just fine. Oh, <gasps> game. Um, hello. Oh. Walk a little, walk closer. I think, I think we can hit him from here. All right. Should be okay. Beautiful. All right, this time, no umbral. Oh, wait, we, I think we need to be an umbral, but we don't need to be an umbral for long. I think once we get our vigor, we might head back to, oh, we have like 13,000 vigor. That I'm just goofing with, right? Sometimes that one hits really hard, and sometimes it does. Oh, it! Oh, it poisons. 
which makes sense. You're just gonna die anyway. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to be an umbral once we get to the platforms. Oh, you know what? The item that's up there, which I said was just pendant and trousers. No, no, no. I think these guys dropped the pendant and trousers, and I just simply foolishly grabbed one of their loots. Thinking that's what was actually on the ground, but no, I think. Yeah, I think this is actually the the area loot. It is. Uh, <laughs> I thought I got pants and I, I got radiant burst parchment. That's a throwing item. Fascinating. Holy damage upon enemies while also healing allies. I need to make a switch to throwing stuff at some point. It's so stinking cool. Also, there's another side area. Oh, and I used the Pilgrim's Perch key for a very scary looking chest. I'm going to try something here. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully not a mimic. A deer's hardiness. Okay, it looks like maybe an Inferno spell. Indeed, a Shout Sorcery, which allows you to summon the hardiness of a deer within yourself, increasing defense and resistance. Cool. Yeah, I like the whole Shout system. Right, right, right. Cool. So many options. This game is nothing but just a game of options. A plethora, if you will. Even if you won't. Okay. Uh, I actually don't think we need to go into Umbral because I can just walk across and hopefully not get hit. I know said we said we were going to go back. I'm just going to push forward a little bit more. Ancient Penitent Arm Chain, Small Doral. I know little spiky head is right behind, but that's okay. I don't need it. Bell chimes are getting much more distinct. Nice try. Uh, that's not far enough. It is far enough. Oh, that is the greatest. Yeah. <laughs> Kick for the win. Yep, another barrel attack. Oh, this time I'm going to actually get hit by it. Nope, nope, nope. Oop. I love that enemies are weak up here. It's it's weird. It seems proximity based, but at the same time, at the same time, uh, you have to get through some really tough enemies to get to this lower level area. Kind of bizarre. Alright, so make sure we are getting all of our vigor. Uh, I could get this blister for a little bit more soul flay energy. Thank you, Muchly. Goal is to still, you know, head back to Skyrest before we wrap up. Uh oh. Uh, is there... Okay, one dead, one dead, one dead. Let's, uh, let's get some distance. Okay, we're okay. Oh, we're less okay. We're fine. I don't know why I dodged that. He said, oh! Oh, you're very weak. Extraordinarily weak.
Uh, yes, hi? I would like, I would like the item behind you. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> Not great. <laughs> Not great. What did I climb all this way for? Blood letter. Why do I feel like I had that? Oh no, I had the Rejects Blade. Somewhat similar. Okay, physical, holy, and bleed. Barbaric, hallowed, sentinel weapon designed to tear flesh and, more importantly, shed blood with each stab and slash. It's a fist weapon. Maybe it'd be cool to be a really, really fast fist weapon user, yeah? Okay, so... Big ol' elevator down. Let's take the elevator down. No. Oh, sorry. Up. Oh, that's... That is a shocking turn of events. I did miss another cave over there. Nearly 20,000 bigger. Good, 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 good. No one in the comments is freaking out right now. Mance of the Hallowed Brothers. That's a name if I've heard one. I just want to know if there is a vestige super close. There is. Let's grab it and let's get out of here. Oh, don't run off the cliff. What are you doing? Okay, Vestige of Ferrer's the Chard. So now we're going to go back down. Because we have a... Wow, we have a, a couple of areas that might be kind of huge now. We have the Memorial Lane. Where we met uh, Beck here again. And we have the Mance of the Hallowed Brothers. And then there's still more in that cave system that I need to go check out. This game is opening up massively. And, and we're talking about like 22, 23 hours in. And the game's just getting bigger and bigger. For items. Don't jump off, please. <laughs> Don't do it. You are just a lovely individual. I do see an interesting item below. Did you see that? Like, do I need to grab it from here? Oh, it's a stigma. Oh. oh. I don't want to be an umbral in a new area. And you're giving me a flower bed. I don't want to use it because I still want to use my other one for warping. But then again, what's with all these sconces? I'm back outside again. Big guy right... Ooh. Where is your... Okay, back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Oh, groovy. We got some friends coming to play. Golly. We run. We run. We run. We run. What do we do? We run. Hopefully line this up right. Um, wait, Soulfly, Soulfly, Soulfly. You're gone? <gasps> You're not gone. Try again. Try again. Wait, all I need to do is kick you. Or, or, shoot you. Wait, huh? Oh, wait. There we go. Okay. Huh. 
fair. Uh, you know what? Big heal. Heal up. Play it safe. Oh, crud. Not paying attention. Oh, I would love a soul flay right now. Please don't make me dance on this bridge with you. You have better balance than I do. Please. Oh, it's going to happen. We got him, we got him, we got him. Oh, blue, 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 what are you doing? Why are you not putting down a seed and just going back to Sky Rest? Quickly, 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 quickly. Dearing me. Uh oh. <gasps> oh, we got lucky. So lucky. Can I just get the ladder, please? Did I come up here just to... Oh, wait, no, there's an item. Slinger's Ring. Ooh. Gain a period of regenerating health upon using this... Nope, nope. Oh, I already... <laughs> health regen after Sanguinarius is very nice. Slinger's Ring, deal additional damage with throwables. See, I was just saying I need to use throwables more. What is happening? Oh, we're at two. You're once again back to being super tanky. We we gotta go. We gotta go. We'll have to explore this another time. We have to go quick, 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 quick. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it. Oh crud! All right, just heal because we're going. Okay, can I use it? Can I use it? Oh my gosh. Hey, let's go back to Skyrest. So we got Man Supply Pathway, Fair as the Chard. And, oh, wow. A lot of progress, but just kind of progress all over the place. Okay. All right, so <laughs> we're here. I do want to upgrade that catalyst. As much as we can at least so i don't even know how many fragments i have 30 okay good so already up to 176 over 200 okay we're at plus five our nohut is at plus six can we get this to plus six we can now let's compare let's compare the two and see if that is enough to make a difference so 289 uh so once again 290 so about 360 give or take no, not yet. Not yet. Only 280. A pretty big difference for now. But it is, does have some really good scaling, so I think we need to pump up a whole bunch of stats in order to make that worthwhile. Okay, I have more Vigor. I have more upgrades. Possibly... No, I don't think I got any quest items this time around. That's okay. Progress was made, and now we have so many options. 
And those options I will think about in between now and next time. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying. And I will see you next time.